In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will learn how to create twisted 3D text effects. I will show you how to turn usual text to separated 3D objects, how to adjust the most important settings in 3D panel, and in the end of this tutorial we will apply gradients and colors to twisted 3D text. You are watching TNT Tutorials? Let's move on! We will start with the usual text, obviously. Today I will use this font. Select your text. Object, Expand, OK, right click and ungroup. After this, let's open Layers panel. Open this layer group. You can see that we can read Inspiration from bottom to top. To make everything work for us, like this, we should bring bottom layers to top. Here's how you can do this. Let's select this letter, and to bring it on top, Ctrl plus Shift plus right brackets. Let's do the same with this letter, then simply drag it down. The same here, drag it down also. The same with this one. Now we came to middle letter. And we don't need to bring it on top and then drag it down. Let's simply press Ctrl plus right brackets to move it up. The same with all other letters. If you need to bring some letter down, simply press Ctrl plus left brackets. Alright, after this step, we are ready to apply 3D effect. Select all these letters. Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Preview. I want to thank you all for watching this video, guys. If you enjoy learning with TNT tutorials, please spend one second right now to press thumbs up, subscribe if you are not my subscriber yet, and leave some short feedback. With these three easy steps you can support this channel and show me that you appreciate what I do for you. Thanks for your attention and support, let's continue. Let's click here on more options. You can play with lightning sources. Choose diffuse or plastic shading. For now it really doesn't matter which one will we use. Later we will switch to no shading anyway. So I will leave plastic shading. Here's how you can add new light. Make letters brighter. With blending steps, you can make or avoid such rough transitions. When you have zero blending steps, you have less geometry. So let's increase this value to have smooth results. Let's change extrude depth. I will apply 25 points. Your value can be different and you can always change it if you want to. If you want to change any settings after you applied 3D effects, you can always open Properties panel, find Applied Effect here, click on it and apply changes. What I don't recommend you to do is to rotate object like this. You will have less control on your shapes and when you would like to place this cube straight, simply click on front and rotate it like this. This will give you more control. After this, you can always switch to front and start all over. You can enter values here. Today I will use these values. I will click OK. If you want to know more about 3D effects, you definitely should watch these tutorials. I explain what can go wrong, how you can fix it, how to apply patterns to your 3D shapes, how to change them and create some interesting and unusual design using 3D effects in Adobe Illustrator. Let's continue with these ones. 
Let's press Ctrl plus R. Drag guide from top. Then properties. This guide should be selected. Let's enter 20 degrees here. And press enter. This guide will simply help us to work faster. Don't be afraid to move letters one by one. Place them as you want to. You can pick them all here. To zoom in and to zoom out, hold Alt and use Scroll. To use Hand Tool and Navigate, hold Space Bar and left mouse button. As this letter is middle one, we will leave these values. Let's pick this letter and change this value to 30. Click OK. Let's pick this letter and change value to 40. Let's apply 50 here. Sixty for O and seventy for N. Almost the same with these letters. Let's pick I. Let's enter ten here. Now let's enter zero for P. Let's pick S. Apply ten. 20 and 30 for I. Let's align these letters according to guides. Don't be too precise, do it fast. Play with distance between letters. It might be slightly different between all letters. Remember that you are creating design and everything should work for you. So make sure that you have movement that is very easy to read. I don't think that it looks great right now, that because that they are all straight. I think we need some curve here. So let's simply bring these letters down. You might want even to change degree of some letter, if this will help you to get needed results. Don't be afraid to experiment. If you want to have better preview, if some letters don't have enough contrast, just pick some letter, apply the effect, and play with lightning source. Like this, for example. We don't need guide anymore, you can delete it. Now we need to apply no shading to these letters, and as you can see when we select them all, we can't use applied effect. That's because we have different values for each one of them. So let's pick them one by one and apply no shading. After we applied no shading to all of them, it's time to expand them. After we will expand them, they won't be 3D objects anymore. Object, expand appearance. Also here is a very important tip for you. If you can't see selected objects well, double click somewhere here and change color. I will change it to black and we can see all selections very well. What we need to do in this step? First of all, select all these letters, right click and select ungroup. Each one of them will be still grouped but we just got rid of some little error. After this, we will need O, R, P and S letters to double click on each one of them, enter isolated mode, A for direct selection tool, pick such parts, properties, pathfinder, unite. 
Here's also how you can do it easily. If you can't find needed shapes, select all these layers, then simply hold Shift, deselect unneeded shapes, needed shapes will be selected, and click on Unite. Alright, so now we have only needed shapes, no unneeded geometry. Double click somewhere to exit isolation mode. Let's pick R. Double click on it. We need only these two. Unite them. Now let's deselect these ones. Unite this geometry. And we'll pick these shapes. Unite. The same with P. Unite these shapes. S. Let's unite these objects. These ones. Let's check if there's something else we need to unite. No, we don't have any unnecessary geometry. So let's exit isolation mode. After this, let's select them all once again. Right click and ungroup them. Let's select these layers. And press Ctrl G to group. After this, select all layers again. They're all selected. Simply hold Shift. Click on some of layers that we have just grouped. We deselected them. Also, let's deselect these layers. You will understand what we are doing right now. Let's deselect these layers. And press Ctrl plus G again. Now let's pick layers that we have just grouped. And apply this color. We also need to bring them down. Let's select these layers. Gradient. Linear gradient. You can group them also to have better control. Press Ctrl plus G, then select this group, double click on it. What we don't need is white color here. It's just too bright. Let's pick some gray color. Alright, select this object, G for gradient tool, and adjust gradients. Like this. Let's double click somewhere to exit isolation mode. We have good results already. But we need to apply gradient to this letter also. And here. So let's pick this one first. Let's select this object. Linear gradient. G for gradient tool. Let's drag it like this. If you will click here, you will add one more point. Let's apply this color for this marker. Double click on this marker, color picker, and pick this color. Now you can play with these sliders. Alright, we have adjusted needed result. If you need to change it, a for direct selection tool, pick this shape, G for gradient tool, and change it any way you want. Let's do almost the same here. You can press A for direct selection tool, pick this shape, linear gradient, G for gradient tool, and adjust gradient like this. Here you go, as you can see, nothing hard here. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important, by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest interesting tutorials from TNT. 
I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.